Okay, so here I have about 12 gallons of chestnuts in my dehydrator. Um, how I did this, I experimented and I tried totally fresh chestnuts dehydrated. I tried boiling for one minute, two minute, three minute, and roasting unscored for 20 minutes at 425. The flavor was by far the best roasted. Um, I only had one nut out of 12 gallons um, explode on me and so this is working pretty well and this is just dehydrated for 22 hours after roasting at 350. Um, one thing I wanted to note is you can't dehydrate first and then roast. Um, the flavor doesn't develop and the kernel responds differently. And yeah, it like blackens and browns. And if I had a machine doing this, I'd definitely have the machine shake it more harder. Because the harder, you, the longer you shake, the more everything obliterates you know, into really fine pieces, and that all gets picked up by the aspirator a hell of a lot better um, than if you shake shorter periods. But yeah, I'll, have, I'll probably have to do another shaking once I aspirate. Um, so here's my aspirator. Just got my vacuum connected up. I'm going to aspirate up these chestnuts. <laughs> So it cleaned it up, it got a lot of the fines out, but clearly I put too many nuts in the bucket and didn't shake hard enough and long enough. Um, but regardless, at least the nuts are cracked more, so if I wanted to throw them in the dehydrator now, um, they would dry a lot faster without that shell. So I'm going to aspirate all this. Okay, so this is all aspirated. Clearly I needed to shake it more. Again, with the machine, wouldn't be an issue. Here's the coarse stuff. That gets caught by the aspirator. Probably use this in my fireplace. I don't know exactly how yet. And then this is kind of interesting. What came out in the vacuum is this really it's this really fine wool. It feels like cotton. Um, and this is all from the chestnuts. This was empty before. Uh, I run the aspirator. So I'll give that to someone crafty and see what they can do. And check this out. So I've been roasting at 425. It's 11 minutes in right now. And, um, and I've already done 12 gallons this way. And I've only had one explode. So I don't, I don't think you need to score your chestnuts. Ended up being about it ended up being about four gallons from, uh, I forget if it was 10 or 12 gallons inputted. Um, but yeah, the final product is great. I'm gonna keep these whole until I wanna grind them in the winter um, for making, making flour or cooking in soups. But yeah, the process works. It was really simple. I'd say it took I, I, mm, a little more time than harvesting wheat with a hand thresher. But it was like pretty efficient, at least from a subsistence perspective.